Thanks, Greg. Crypto assets are going mainstream, and 2019 will be a massive year. I'm CEO of Cryptarium. Austin Kim is co-founder and chief operating officer. I've spent the last 25 years working in traditional payments, working with MasterCard, working with Visa, most recently CEO of Visa UK. So I know the traditional payment world, but what I've seen in the last 12 months is a massive growth of the crypto asset industry. At Cryptarium, we aim to make crypto as easy to spend as cash anywhere in the world. Our service that we brought to market in the last month has a history uh, that goes back just 12 months. We ran an initial coin offering, one of the biggest in terms of token holders in November last year. We had 72,000 token holders, raised 52 million US dollars, and pre-registered 450,000 customers. What we found out about our customers that were pre-registering is that what they wanted is to be able to liquidate crypto for small payments quickly and to have multiple payment options for paying out the crypto into the fiat world. We're going to take you through some of our live services that are in market today. We're going to start off with our send crypto to anyone using their mobile phone number, much faster than the blockchain, seconds to actually make a crypto payment. Austin, you're going to take us through that now. Yeah, thank you very much, Mark. So if anyone's ever sent crypto before, they know it's quite a complicated process. You have to put in a long address, and everyone's always afraid that they've put in the wrong address. We want to make it very simple. We're just going to send it through a phone number. So send crypto through phone, enter a small amount. I'm going to send just a very small amount, 0 0.001, which is about 65 cents. I'm going to enter phone number. And I'm just going to do myself. This is a UK phone. This is the reason why I have a second phone sitting next to me. I'm going to press Send. I get an option to review, Send Crypto. I'm now transferring it and success. And if the internet is working properly, on my screen in a moment should pop up the fact that I've received crypto. There you go. My UK phone has just received the crypto I've just sent in milliseconds rather than 20, 30 minutes under the traditional model. Thanks, Austin. And in the crypto world, that's amazing, because if you're waiting for a Bitcoin transaction, you can wait several hours for all the nodes to update. So the ability to send crypto to another person in seconds is something we've seen from our consumer research that people really want to be able to send crypto. We think it will enfranchise a whole new range of people into the crypto world. There are 25 million crypto holders, unique crypto holders today. That's a number that's doubling every year, and we think our service can help embrace that. The next service that we want to show you is mobile top-up service. There are 3 billion prepaid mobile top-up uh, services in the world, so 3 billion consumers do mobile top-up. What we've brought to the market is for 400 different uh, mobile top-up companies, including AT&T, Verizon, Virgin, a whole range of other companies. It's the ability to use your crypto to top up your mobile in seconds. Austin's going to take us through a demonstration of that now. Thank you very much. So there are other things we can do, but we're just showing this particular uh, facility. So very simple again, just enter a mobile phone number. But to make it a bit more exciting this time, we're using a guy who's based in Nigeria. I'm going to enter Kenya. an amount. Oh, sorry, in Kenya, my apologies. Um, we're going to send some Kenyan shillings. I'm going to send him 200 Kenyan shillings. Press go to his mobile top up. Transferring. This can take a few seconds. And there you go. His mobile phone in Nigeria has just been topped up. It's in Kenya. But ah. <laughs> so, so our friend Ernest, he'll have received, during the course of the day, quite a few top-ups as we've been testing our service. And I'm sure he'll be delighted to have that on his account. The, the, crypto, the crypto world, uh, for us, is all, always about embracing as many payout options as possible. One of the biggest ones is uh, international bank account transfers. And the ability to pay bills, the ability to send money, uh, send fiat to another bank account, either to pay yourself or to pay colleagues. And what we have in both Australia and in Europe is the ability to do bill payments and account transfers. Uh, and in Europe, the service is called SEPA, SEPA IBAN. And Austin's going to take you through the SEPA IBAN service now. OK, so again, very simple. Tip on the um, app. This is a little bit more complicated, because if you've ever done a bank transfer, an international bank transfer, you know there's a few more details. I'm not going to fill in all the details, but I have to fill in some basic details to make this work. Um, so to make this quick, I actually just um, cut and paste. There you go. Barclays Bank has been picked up. 
It also includes the Swift code immediately, like you would see with any normal bank transfer. I'm going to miss out the reference number. I'm going to send my colleague five euros. He's going to be very happy with me. Um, but what you can see, so I'm going to click on that again. What you can see there is actually, although it says five euro, it also says 0 0.001 Bitcoin. That is what we're sending. So that we're sending Bitcoin. We're not sending five euros. We're sending Bitcoin. But my colleague is going to receive it in euro. I press next. Confirm my order. Processing, very simple process. Now my colleague, in the normal payment process time, will now receive five euro in his bank account. I sent crypto, but he received euro. Thanks, Austin. And that's what you can use not only to send to other people, but actually send to pay bills. So those are three services that are live already. We also want to share with you that we're working with Visa and Union Pay for attaching a card to our card service so that people will be able to liquidate small cash transactions by using a Visa card, Apple Pay, Google Pay, Android Pay, and also a Union Pay product. Our service in Europe will be with Visa, and we're looking at a global issuance plan with uh, Union Pay. Austin, anything else to add on those card services? So here, I would say this is the ultimate use case. It means you can go into Starbucks, McDonald's, they issue you a $10 bill. You simply touch your phone to the NFC payment terminal, and it pays. McDonald's receives $10. Um, you pay in Bitcoin or in Ether, or whichever currency you chose. And McDonald's doesn't even know that you've paid in Bitcoin. They receive the, um, the payment in their currency of choice. If they don't have NFC, we use a card. We would have liked to have shown the actual um, demonstration, but unfortunately, we don't have a, a US NFC terminal available today. But it is available for us. Thanks, Austin. So we've got a roadmap of new services, as well as some live services today. We're not here to raise money. We've, we've raised money in our ICO. We are here to make partnerships, and we'd love to reach out to you if you think you could partner with us in scaling up the US market. In particular, we're looking for people in the card industry. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.